Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode, I talk about the Beat LFO. So let's get started. So to load the Beat LFO, you open from a device the modulator sections and click on the plus and just type in a Beat LFO or Beat and select it with the arrow keys, hit enter and the Beat LFO is loaded. And if you click on the display over here, that shows you uh, um, parameter configurations, um, the Beat LFO opens. One thing that the Beat LFO has is it is uh, you can um, bound it to the groove shuffle from the play menu over here. If you enable groove and work with the groove, the Beat LFO um, orientate, orientates itself um, at the groove. So. It is, it is a modulator, so it lets modulate something, for example, this filter, like that. So it modulates like a LFO would do. And here you have a, a dial knob where you can um, dial between a quarter note and uh, I think it's a 32 note. So if I use this now and go slow down and you can see nicely in the display how what you're dialing in so this is a nice visual feedback. And the standard waveform is a triangle waveform, but you can um, deform that in a way, for example, with this saw characteristic. Or to um, do that with a sine wave, for example. Or this other wave, I don't know how you would call that, but it looks nice. Then there is an amount knob where you can choose the amount of modulation or modulations if you put some more modulations over here. So with zero and hundred percent and you can hit the bipolar settings so it goes in both directions. And you see it nicely again on the display. Like that. And over here there's a phase on a, an offset um, position. And um, you can hear that very nice if you click on the metronome. And I play now um, I play now a note and just um, try to follow when the note is modulated. Maybe I put it like this. This is um, very easy to recognize. And just follow the metronome and the hit of the note. And then I um, increase uh, the whole um, offset. It's like a phase. F phase option is not directly directly phase. It's more offset, but it shifts the note in the in the positive direction. So. Um, the note is uh, playing sooner than than the bar or in the negative direction so it's just like um, coming a little bit late so let's play like that so and that's everything about the beat lfo but you could do some really nice things with it so let's try it a little bit and just uh, experiment <laughs> Thank you. 
maybe with some drums. Yeah, um, so you could try to create something like a trance gate or something similar. Not really a trance gate, but something in this way, so where you can um, just continue sliding the, the uh, tempo, like I did over here. With this little in-between um, notes. You could say this is like uh, a morphing trance kit or something, maybe in that direction. And yeah, it's a really nice beat LFO or LFO that you can use for several um, effects with uh, maybe, uh, for example, an additional um, delay 2 or stereo delay, for example. I think this could be very interesting. And just do that again. Maybe the other direction.
for the other direction you have to wait a little bit longer then so okay that was a little bit um, demonstration what you can do and what is possible maybe you have some really nice ideas and tricks and, and something like that um, then tell me write it in the comments and I would ask you to do I'm always happy if you give, give me some feedback and uh, yeah I hope you liked that video and I hope I see you soon again in the next video so stay healthy see you ciao ciao